Next up, this is all about XRP. So if you are an XRP holder or are thinking about it, uh, stick around. If you're not, go ahead and fast forward to the next section which talks about the queue of the day. So what's happening here? Well, Flare uh, Network is a new Turing Complete smart contract platform. All, the, all we're doing here is you're, we're going to try to get the Spark token, which is the Flare native token. And it's like an airdrop, which you're gonna get a utility fork of XRP. So we're going to set this up so you can get your Spark tokens easily and simply by using a Ledger Nano S or X. That's all we're gonna do right now. So this all comes from uh, White's Wind. I think I said his name right. But White's Wind, he's one of those lead programmers for XRP Labs, and he put out a tool uh, to help you get your Spark tokens. So pretty simple. Um, to make it super simple, actually, there is a nice little graphic that was made by Stethis Crypto, and let's just blow it up real quick. So here's what you need. So you need a Ledger Nano S or X. You can also use Zoom or XUMM if you want to, but uh, Ledger Nano X, S and X is pretty, pretty simple. If you don't have that, you can use the XUMM. So you need a non-custodial Ethereum address, meaning you can't use Coinbase or any type of uh, exchange. It, it must be like my Ether wallet, uh, Mu, MetaMask, uh, Nano S, something like that. We're going to need the XRP Toolkit, which is xrptoolkit.com to connect your Ledger wallet, and the full guide for XRP holders, which is the one we just took a look at. So very first thing, we're just, I'm going to go do an overview here of this nice little graphic. Then we'll go over to whites.com to take a look at what we got to do. So we're going to go through the warnings disclaimers. We're going to click Continue. Here's the options. We're going to choose 2B. Don't use XUMM. I don't know. How to, I think it's Zoom. X Zum. I don't know. And... Uh, we're going to use an NL address. If you don't have one of those, then you're going to use the XUMM. You're going to generate an ETH compatible account, which is pretty simple if you don't have it. You're going to provide an ETH compatible uh, account address, which is right here. We're going to stick it in. Then you're going to, you're going to connect your Ledger Nano to, an, to the XRP toolkit. And we'll go over all that in a second and paste the message field and so on and so forth. So let's do the very first thing it says. Visit flare.whites.com. Okay, before we get started, there's something very important you need to know, and that is that if you need a firmware update, which looks like this in your for your Nano Ledger under Ledger Live, then you must update your firmware first. If you want a step-by-step -step tutorial about how to do that, there's going to be a little card that's going to swipe right about now, and you can click on that and watch it. It's about seven or eight minutes, then I'll help you walk you through. But you must do this first if you have this little option where it says update firmware. So do that first before you move on. You need. So again, one, disclaimers, warnings, and, and acknowledgements. I am responsible. Tools right on a voluntary basis. Tools right on a voluntary. Sure, I agree. Yes, I do all that stuff. Read it all. Fantastic. I'm going to click continue. So we can click on 2A or 2B. Again, if you don't have uh, a Ledger Nano, you're going to click on 2A and continue. But we have one, so we're not going to use XUMM. We're going to click continue. So number three, generate ETH compatible account. So if you have a Nano Ledger, you should have an ETH compatible account. It's going to look something like this, 0x415, blah, 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 blah. So just to make sure, if you want to go to your Nano Ledger, you can go to portfolio or you can go to accounts. It doesn't really matter. But uh, so here's Ethereum. And you can tell, here's my legacy account. I'm going to click on that. And up here, let me move this down. Send, receive, buy Ethereum. If you just want to find the actual address, uh, just click on receive. And it's Ethereum on legacy. Yeah. It's going to have you take a look at your actual Nano Ledger. And that's the address, 0x. That's mine. So if you want to send me a bunch of Ethereum, go right ahead. Anyhow, we're going to click on copy this address copied just to make sure that we have it. So we do have it. We're going to skip this step. I own an ETH compatible account and I own the secret because it's in a Nano Ledger. And it's going to say, okay, now provide it. Now prove it. All right. Command V. And it says right here, please never use a ETH compatible address generated for you by an exchange. Got it. Next. Now, number five, confirm account ownership on the XRP ledger. Your ETH compatible address will now have to be stored in the message key field on the XRP ledger on your account. This way, Flare Networks can determine the account on the Flare ledger is owned by you. This way, the token distribution contract knows which XRP ledger accounts contain the balance to read for Spark token distribution. And it says here, you didn't use XUMM, so please follow the instructions below to use xrptoolkit.com for Ledger Nano devices to store your ETH compatible address in the required field on the XRP Ledger. Blah, blah, blah. Great. So it's going to say open XRP Toolkit. Nice, fantastic little link. And connect your wallet. So we're going to open link in a new tab. And here it is. And it says, 
connect your connect to a ledger. Sure, I'll we'll click on that. It says plug in device and open the XRP app, which it is plugged in, but now I need to go to XRP. So I'll go back to my analog ledger, scrolling over to XRP, hit the buttons, and it says retrieving account information. And that's me, XRP 6169. So just so you know, like I have multiple nano ledgers. I have a couple S's, a couple X's, and uh, I'm gonna have to do this for each single one because in this one, it has 6,000 uh, XRP. So uh, that's just one of them. So we'll do that, we'll confirm. So here we are on the xrptoolkit.com. There is our address. It says we have 6,169, which is the exact amount that I have on my on this ledger. And are we done? No, there's a couple more steps to do. So we're gonna go back here. It says in the menu, so open XRP tool, toolkit and connect your wallet, done. In the menu bar, go to account and select the properties menu item. So here's account, properties. Look at the account properties page for the message key section, which here is the message key section. And it states, paste the value displayed below in the message key field and click the update button. So I'm gonna copy this, come over here, stick that in the message key. I'm gonna click the update. And then we're gonna actually take a look at our nano ledger. And it's gonna say transaction type account setting. I'm gonna scroll over account one of three, RHZ, blah, 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 blah. Scroll, that's what it says account one of three. Scroll over account two of three, account three of three. Here's the fee, XRP. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Message key, one of five, two of five, three of five, four of five. I'm just going to scroll through. And then the last thing you're going to see is going to say sign transaction with a check mark. We're going to click both buttons if you got a S or X, whichever one they are. Or if you keep going, it'll say reject. So we're going to accept it. We're signing it, submitting the transaction. Please wait. And we're all set. And that is all there is to it, my friends. Now we're going to go back here. We're going to click on next. And that's pretty much it. So you just got to wait until probably December when it starts to do that drop. And what I have to do is I have to go back and do this for all my other nano ledgers because I have them on different ones. All right, so I hope that helps you out. Let's jump into Q of the day.